Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Fairy Cry here and I'm so happy you guys are here today. I have a very exciting news that I want to share with you guys. I was so happy when I found out. Today we're going to be talking about me being featured in the Trilogy Tour video off of Live Nation. Oh my gosh you guys, I'm so happy. I, I don't even know what to say. Like. I'm so, I feel like I can actually rest in peace now knowing that I feel like it's such a big thing because of how much of a big fan I am of Melanie Martinez and it's such a cool thing to kind of see myself being there and experiencing the concert and seeing how happy I am honestly at the concert was so just like capturing my happiness and seeing it in a very candid way which was really exciting to see my reaction of her performing um but to get in the spirit of melanie martinez i have on the shirt that i'm wearing today it is super cute i believe this shirt was actually on the madison square garden shirt but this is the one that doesn't have madison square garden like text on it I did order this one from the website and I'm also wearing these milk and cookie earrings that I made. I did buy the supplies from Hobby Lobby and then I just put them on earrings. They're super cute. But um, yeah, I'm so excited. So yeah, we are going to do a reaction. I've already seen the video so I know a little bit of it like watching the whole thing but I kind of just want to like relive it with you guys and like comment on about it and then I also want to discuss like what my dream set list would be and um just overall like my whole experience you know there are some songs that I wish that she did perform but she actually didn't and it would have been cool to see these songs so yeah let's go ahead and watch the reaction video Melanie is such a strong, confident, fearless leader. Not just great creative, but a great artist and human. It's really been one of the greatest pleasures of my life to be here on the Trilogy Tour. It's me! <laughs> it's like five split seconds of me being on the video, but I can pause it. So there's me! Oh my gosh, I'm like, <laughs> I really love that they got this footage of me, you guys. I look so freaking happy, and I really was. And I was truly living the best life right then and there. Um, I honestly had a feeling that they were gonna uh, create a movie or something. I, I kept getting these vibes like they were gonna do something. Because when I think about it, the guy that uh, was recording uh, the videos, like I saw the people who were in the front of the stage, and um, I noticed that they had this huge camera equipment and it was like, you know, it was strapped onto him. It was a huge camera. And so I was like, they're definitely filming something. I was just thinking like in my head, like why would they have that huge camera just to um, record this one show? Yeah, I'm really glad that I was able to get this on footage and on my little DJI camera, you can see right there. But it was really nice, like, being able to record the whole entire thing and um, without my phone covering up my face, you know. Sometimes I feel like that ruins the whole experience of, um, you know, them seeing your reaction. And I also feel like Melanie can see you guys from the stage and, like, and it's just, like, awesome to have that connection, like, with the smaller camera. It's not in your face. It's not covering your face and she doesn't feel as like zoomed in to your camera like she's just looking at a bunch of phones. But I also feel like, you know, she can see your reaction. Um, so it was a really good idea that I brought the DJI camera, which was super small. But if I could relive that tour, honestly, I would not have recorded at all and just, you know, live life to the fullest without recording and going on my phone but yeah this is such a super awesome moment for me and i feel like it would just like made my whole day like when i saw it on instagram well let me talk about how i first saw the video so i was like scrolling through instagram and then there's a few like melanie martinez fan pages that i follow and one of them reposted the video of live nation i didn't even see it at all and i was like 
oh wow cool they did a little snippet of Melanie's concert and then I realized that it was the same outfit that she was wearing for our concert which was Palm Desert it was this white outfit which you can see right here I'll post a picture and um I was like hmm I wonder if that's my concert that I went to and then I like looked at the the preview there's like a preview on Instagram it was like like chopped up and I saw that there they had um, filmed these people that were in front of me and I recognized them I was like oh I remember them um, I remember seeing them and I was like oh my gosh I wonder if I'm in the video at all so then I like click on YouTube to watch the whole video and I see <laughs> up until 18 seconds right there at the mark I'm in the video and it's like so crazy to me um I love it I love that it captured my emotion I felt like it was a core memory for me and I almost panic cried like I was like oh my gosh that is just so cool that you know I can remember this go back to this video and just remember that I was there I really hope that they end up posting the whole entire tour because I feel like if I can remember, if I can go back to that day, I think, this is what I think, I don't rem like fully remember, but I think that they did record the entire show to like hopefully, so hopefully she does put out a whole movie for, you know, all the people who couldn't make it, kind of like a whole thing that Taylor Swift did where she posted it on Disney+, Plus. but maybe, um, you know, Melanie can do this for her fans and hopes that for people who weren't able to attend the concert or you know I just think it's a really cool idea that they did this little snippet though so I'm really grateful that they caught this little glimpse of me enjoying my life <laughs> and watching Melanie um but yeah let's continue <laughs> I think this was after. It was inspired. I mean, I think this is after. So I think this is GA line because I'm like I don't remember these people in line. So I'm pretty sure this is um, they captured uh, these fans outside um, when we we're inside for our VIP. Also, their outfits are so freaking cute. Look at her little buttons. I wonder if she like made her dress like her little buttons right here, and then. I just love the whole the idea. One. I don't know if it, her sister or like her daughter, but super cute that you guys, you know, these people are bringing in their kids to enjoy Melanie Martinez. And honestly, I don't, to me, I don't think it's really inappropriate. I feel like it's completely appropriate, like, for a woman to like experience these things that Melanie has created through with her music, I feel like it's important to to have that person sing it and so that they can have something to relate to because a lot of people who go through these things don't have anything to relate to. Like me when I was uh, younger, before I had listened to Melanie Martinez, there's not a lot of music that you know I connected with and I felt like there wasn't a lot of music where that made me feel like it was okay to be weird and crazy and you know cool but I love that they're bringing in their kids it's so fun it's Bo was the K-12 she wakes up also I love everyone's outfits they're so cute like what the heck I literally want to buy these girls outfits <laughs> every single person I was passing by I was like I want your outfit I want your outfit I want your outfit but yeah so cute in this dress exactly. Portal, yeah, I made this hat. So cool. People are crazy. I listen to her for so long, and all of her music's so special to me. People Same girl, I'm excited same. to just experience a whole story she's created, which just means so much to me. And I just want to say, like, how many of these fans are so freaking creative like I absolutely love it I feel like out of all the concerts I feel like Melanie Martinez fans go the hardest like literally we go the freaking hardest um just by dressing up I mean my outfit wasn't that hard um, but what I'm saying is like all of the fans around me the person next to me in the first 18 seconds of where I was in that little split second they had made their whole dress like their whole outfit and I was just like oh my gosh 
that is so cool like to see everyone come up with their own version of Melanie's creations you know it's really cool and see to see how they inter interpret like all of her music and incorporating all these um you know all these ideas that she's come up with each album from crybaby to k-12 the portals like you just see everyone that mixes things together and it's, it's really honestly so cool to see and i love it but let's continue she is one of those rare artists that Definitely. tells stories that are really meaningful working with an artist that's so driven by concept it's a dream come true for me as a makeup artist i'm able to really create makeups that are you know just as fantastical and deeply expressive as her music is and i just want to say like give credit to the team like they are doing an amazing job doing the makeup the hair like you guys, I don't see anyone going that all out for their um, their singers, like other makeup artists. I feel like they aren't going that far out. Like, and I love how detailed everything is. Like, it's so insane how many different outfits and how many different hairs and how many different makeup styles like Melanie has worn. It's so cool to see um, their art. You know, I think it's really amazing. <laughs> The crybaby wig is set every night in Velcro rollers, and then we have coined these little things. I call them doodle bops, and they just connect on the side on the top here. And then we do a really crazy quick change to this wig, which is K through 12. Also, can we give credit to Mel's backup dancers? Oh my gosh, they literally make the tour. Like it's not just Melanie, it's literally everyone on her team from the stage design to the makeup to the hairdresser to her outfit costuming, to her graphics artist, to her, you know, backstage production, I don't know. And then her dancers, I don't, like, everything is so perfectly curated and it really just goes into detail to see how much work has been put into this tour. And honestly, I cannot stop saying this, but I'm so happy to have experienced something like this, you guys. I hope all of you fans out there are able to get it, you know, get something out of it, like the movie, for instance. Um, hopefully it's not just this little thing that Live Nation posted, but I'm hoping Melanie does, you know, do something for all of her all of her eras and put something out for people who can't experience it. You know, we're talking about me growing up listening to Melanie. I went to her first Crybaby tour. I wasn't ex I wasn't able to experience her K through 12 tour, which I'm really happy I was able to see at the trilogy tour. And you know, I'm sure there's so many more people out there that have also had the same issue and wasn't able to go to any tours at all. And to be able to experience this is like a whole new level. Sometimes the pigtails are curly, sometimes they're straight, and then this comes off and we transition into portals. Also, I want to mention like how amazing the choreography is. I know I said dancers, but I didn't mention like the choreographer who's doing the dance, like the whole entire routine for um, this whole tour. Outstanding. Like literally, I just can't imagine like how else would I picture this tour. It wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have come to life, I think, without her backup dancers. <laughs> Sometimes 
so this is what it looks like fully painted. When I take the makeup off and disinfect it every day, this is what it looks like. There is Velcro on the underneath side of the wig, and then it basically just goes on like a Lego. When we walk around with it, it just feels like we just beheaded her. Literally, she comes immediately off stage. And we just rip the mask off. Rip. She's like, get me out. It's really nuts to watch her go through that every single night. She's a tough cookie, she's, that one. She's a queen. I definitely agree. I mean, I feel like that's so much work to have to switch into, uh, you know, just her crybaby era into Portals era is like... Wearing that mask, I remember people saying, like, in, um, I remember reading, like, comments, I don't know where the source I got it from, but I, I think I heard it from, like, random comments, reading off of random comments saying that it's really uncomfortable with her to perform with a mask on, so I think that's why they came out with, um, I think there was probably a lot of test mask beforehand, and, um, yeah, I just gotta credit the makeup artists and the and the hairstylists. I just feel like they are literally putting in so much work into this art and like literally creating her characters, bringing them to life. It's just so cool. I love this outfit too, honestly. Like, I feel like um, Palm Desert, not to be like, <laughs> not to be biased, but I feel like that was her best outfits for um, Portals and Crybaby. But yeah, I love the hairstyle and the makeup and the outfit for her portals era. And the freaking pyrotechnics, like you guys, another credit, we need to credit like, I, I think I've said it on my last video when I did my overall vlog, but the pyrotechnics and the like grand sparklers and the, there's like, you know, effects. They're really, like, amazing job. My favorite moment would probably be when Moon came on and everyone started singing our great story. Yeah, The beginning definitely. of when she said the portal set, I literally started crying like a baby. The concept of it moving from your previous life onto the next one. Same. I think I remember that person, they were sitting in front of me, but I feel like I remember talking to them and they are from Australia, which is so amazing to me that people would come out and fly to see Melanie and honestly I would do the same because, you know, she doesn't tour too much around the world. So it's such a beautiful thing to experience as like a whole community and people coming out from around the world, like, I think that's just um, so awesome. But yeah, let's continue on the video. <laughs> Closure, because it's a story that you follow and she was able to wrap it up in a little bow and then just kiss it goodbye. It's just a show you can't miss, really. Literally. I really just don't want it to be over. I know it's the beginning, but I just feel like it's going to end before I know it. I'm just trying to just soak it all in and absorb every moment. And you guys are so fucking incredible. I love you so, so much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Same. It was just so cool to see everyone's reaction and just how they look from a stage point of view, looking at the audience and seeing how much everyone is enjoying themselves. But yeah, it was so cool to see myself and others that I remember seeing at the concert on the video. I love that for them too. And um, yeah, I hope that she makes a whole entire tour video all, all together, like with every song that was performed. That would be so awesome to see. So let's talk about the dream set list that I think would be a perfect set list for the trilogy tour. If I could change it and make it my way or my version, this is the type of set list that I would want. So if we look at what was actually on the set list, how many songs completely total so there's a total of 28 songs so starting with the crybaby era she had performed at least nine songs and uh, let's start off with crybaby because i would i would do the same i don't think i'd i would mix around the eras because i feel like that'd be too crazy um it wouldn't like you know it wouldn't explain the story of crybaby very well if she had mixed songs in the order so we have nine songs total 
let's just say that if it were up to me, I would do 30 songs. 30 songs. <laughs> and so we would do 10 from each album. So yeah, I think I would start off with Crybaby, obviously, Dollhouse, and then Sippy Cup, Carousel, and then Soap. And then I would do Training Wheels because she didn't perform Training Wheels. And I would really have loved to see her perform that. That's like literally my all-time favorite song from the Crybaby album. And it honestly comes in relation to Soap. So I feel like that would have been so cute to see that transition. Um, leaving Soap and then going right into Training Wheels. And then after that, obviously, Pity Party. And then another song that I would love for her to perform and to see it again live would be Mrs. Potato Head. I feel like that is such um, a really good song. And honestly, like, I would cry if I if I heard that song and played uh, Training Wheels live. And then, you know, getting towards the end, you end it towards with Mad Hatter. And then, obviously, Play Date has to be played. It's literally, like, an iconic song. And then uh, transitioning into uh, K through 12, I would have loved to see, uh, obviously start off with Wheels on the Bus because that's a good transition, leaving the Crybaby album, and then Show and Tell, and then um, Show and Tell, and then Strawberry, Short Cra Strawberry Shortcake, and then followed by that, Lunchbox Friends, and then into that, I would have loved to see Orange Juice. I like love that song. Obviously I have it tattooed on my arm for a reason. It's one of my favorite songs and I feel like a lot of people connect with it. And yeah, I would have cried if she played that song too. And then going into uh, Detention, that would have literally been so freaking cunty to see, literally. I would have loved to see that performance because like if they could have done an outfit change oh my gosh imagine if they did an outfit change like well I guess that'd be so much work to do an outfit change for every song but um yeah I would have loved to see Detention because I feel like the choreography for that music video was so like so hot and um and then also you know High School Sweethearts yes that's like a must obviously and then Recess I would have loved to see Recess um, that's another song that I probably would have cried. You know, it's, it's a really good song. I would have definitely have wanted to seen her perform after school. So it would have been really cool to see her perform Numbers and uh, Bakery. Because I feel like those are such really, like, good freaking songs from the album. Honestly, like, I would have loved to seen her perform as much after school because I love that EP. Then we would get into Portals, which I feel like... Overall, I feel like Portals, the set list currently is alright. I feel like I would have at least added in the deluxe part of Portals because I feel like not a lot of people were able to attend the Portals show last year. It would have been really cool to see her perform part of her deluxe songs. Um, so yeah, you would start off with Death and then enter into Void and then Tunnel Vision yes is a must because it's such a cool song like and then obviously fairy soiree because it's such a like dancing song like i want to like dance to it it's a good song to transition into after tunnel vision and then hitting it into light shower to make everyone cry that's a good song i would have skipped spider web and went straight to battle of the larynx and then we would have went into Nymphology, Evil, Womb, and then obviously I would have added Pluto and Milk of the Siren to finish off the entire tour. And maybe she could have played Womb last, but Pluto and Milk of the Siren are my favorite of the deluxe. Um, I feel like Powder is a really good song, but to play out a tour, I don't think it's really like... Mm, I don't think it's really that appropriate, maybe? I just feel like it's not really a Tory kind of song that you would want to play out loud. Uh, but definitely Pluto and Milk of the Siren would have been cool to see again. But yeah, that would be my dream set list. Um, let me know what songs you guys would have loved to see at the Trilogy Tour. And I hope you guys... 
I'll get the chance to go and experience before it ends on the 31st, I believe is her last show in Pennsylvania, Hershey. So if you guys have the opportunity to go, you live nearby there, you need to go. Do it. I'm saying it right now. Just go. It's the last part of the U.S. leg tour. And then she goes off to Europe and it's done with Crybaby and K-12 and Portals. And now, you know, that's the end. It's done. So... Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. What would you have loved to see her do in the tour, too? Like, instead of what she did, like, as in terms of costuming, um, stage design, and, yeah, also, I didn't even give credit to her instrument, to her background band. Like, they did an amazing job, too um and her media you know people who are capturing her um from her boyfriend to her professional team they're all capturing these memories for us and i'm just really grateful that they all they do this stuff for us you know we can't forget that and and then obviously crediting melanie for all of her work she's put into this year even coming after even after, you know, coming out of Portal's tour, she's going straight into the Trilogy tour, and I feel like she needs a well-rested break from everything after after her uh, European leg tour. Um, I think she should take a long break and relax with her, you know, her boyfriend and her little puppies, and just, it's awesome to see her grow, and hopefully she just keeps growing, and every, all the new fans, you know, we welcome you. Well, I welcome you to, you know, join in together and experience these things. And what I love so much about this community, there's so many people that you can connect with too. Um, not just YouTube, not just TikTok, but there's also Facebook groups. Like, I can link below. There's so many people who are truly interested in what you have to say, like, in regards to, you know, your opinion on merch, your opinion on music, your opinion on, you know anything that has to do with Melanie, uh, it's a really cool thing to be part of and, and, you know, be involved in, especially if you're a fan. So, yeah, I just want to share that with you guys, but I hope you guys are having a lovely uh, summer so far. It's freaking hot. Um, stay cool, uh, be safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.